The Sunday School lesson for August 25th, 2024 is Josiah Calls the People Back to God. 2 Kings chapter 22, verses 8 through 10, chapter 23, verses 1 through 3, and verses 21 through 23. Welcome, viewers and subscribers, to my channel, The Backstory and More. I am Audrey. If you are interested in knowing what happens before each Sunday school lesson, you are at the right place because I will share the backstory, read the lesson text, and offer a brief lesson summary. Please know that every Sunday at 1 o'clock Central Standard Time, I release a new video for the upcoming Sunday School lesson. Please help this channel grow. Please subscribe so that we can continue to grow one viewer and one subscriber at a time. Thank you so much for all that you do to help this channel become what it has the potential to become. The backstory takes us to 2 Kings chapter 22, verses 1 through 7, the book of the law found. Josiah was eight years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem 31 years. His mother's name was Jediah, daughter of Adaiah. She was from Boscath. He did what was right in the eyes of the Lord and followed completely the ways of his father, David, not turning aside to the right or to the left. In the 18th year of his reign, King Josiah sent the secretary, Shaphan, son of Azaliah, the son of Meshulam, to the temple of the Lord. He said, Go up to Hilkiah, the high priest, and have him get ready the money that has been brought into the temple of the Lord, which the doorkeepers have collected from the people. <clears throat> Excuse me. Have them entrust it to the men appointed to supervise the work on the temple, and have these men pay the workers who repaired the temple of the Lord, the carpenters, the builders, and the masons. Also, have them purchase timber and dressed stone to repair the temple. But they need not account for the money entrusted to them because they are honest in their dealings. So we find here that Josiah was only eight years old when the people made him king. Some person of strong faith and high character must have guided Josiah, for he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord. When he was about 26, he ordered a renovation of the neglected temple of the Lord. The backstory ends here, and the Sunday school begins with the next verse. Verse 8, And Hilkiah, the high priest said unto Shaphan the scribe, I have found the book of the law in the house of the Lord. And Hilkiah gave the book to Shaphan, and he read it. Verse 9, And Shaphan the scribe came to the king, and brought the king word again, and said, Thy servants have gathered the money that was found in the house, and have delivered it into the hand of them that do the work, that have the oversight of the house of the Lord. Verse 10, And Shaphan the scribe shewed the king, saying, Hilkiah the priest hath delivered me a book, and Shaphan read it before the king. Verse 1, And the king sent and they gathered unto him all the elders of Judah and of Jerusalem. Verse 2, And the king went up into the house of the Lord, and all the men of Judah, and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem with him, and the priests, and the prophets, 
and all the people, both small and great. And he read in their ears all the words of the book of the covenant, which was found in the house of the Lord. Verse 3, And the king stood by a pillar, and made a covenant before the Lord, to walk after the Lord, and to keep his commandments, and his testimonies, and his statues with all their heart and all their soul to perform the words of this covenant that were written in this book. And all the people stood to the covenant. Verses 21 through 23. And the king commanded all the people, saying, Keep the Passover unto the Lord your God, as it is written in the book of this covenant. Surely there was not holding such a Passover from the days of the judges that judge Israel, nor in all the days of the kings of Israel, nor of the kings of Judah, but in the eighteenth year of King Zosiah, wherein this Passover was holding to the Lord in Jerusalem. A brief summary. In the process of the renovations, Hilkiah the high priest found the book of the law. Though it had not been seen for many years, the priest knew what it was. Hilkiah gave the book to Shaphan, the king's secretary. Shaphan read from it to Josiah, who was shocked by what he heard. He had already gotten rid of high places as the law required, but now he could see that the law was still being broken in many ways, and the book told of terrible punishment for that. Josiah was shocked and grieved when he saw how far he and his people had departed from God's law. Already he had done much to improve conditions, and he would do more. After he heard Huldah's words from the Lord, he called together all the elders of Judah and Jerusalem. He wanted the entire nation to hear the same solemn message that he had heard. Josiah knew that the support of these leaders was crucial, since by himself the king could not generate any renewed interest in God's law that would have a lasting impact. Then he called on the rest of Judah, everyone from the greatest to the least in the kingdom, to meet at the temple. There Josiah read to them all the words of the book. The book that had been found earlier by Hilkiah was now being found by the general population. After the king finished, he led the people in a special ceremony to renew the covenant in the presence of the Lord. Another important part of Josiah's rededication involved the observance of the Passover. This celebration surpassed any that had taken place since the days of the judges or during the time of the divided monarchy. This Passover occurred in the 18th year of King Josiah. Mentioning the time frame serves to call attention to the urgency of Josiah's efforts at the spiritual renewal since that was the same year the book of the law was found. Thank you so very much for listening. Join me soon for the next backstory and more. Stay safe and may God bless. And remember, every Sunday at 1 o'clock Central Standard Time, I release a new video for the upcoming Sunday School lesson.